Solve for the values of x and y such that x to the power of y equals y to the power of x. Oh my god, how wonderful the question is. How shall we solve it? Only 4% of people will subscribe to me. Are you one of the 4%? Usually, for the exponential forms, what shall we do first? Of course, we should take a natural log or take a logarithm on the both sides. If we take a natural log here, the left side is going to be the natural log of x to the power of y and the right hand side is the natural log of y to the power of x. We have a formula. Please remember the natural log of a to the power of b is equal to b times the natural log of a. Here, of course, a is x, b is y. So then, use this formula and we can get that the natural log of x to the power of y is y times the natural log of x. For the right hand side, the same way. It is x times the natural log of y. y times the natural log of x, x times the natural log of y. If we multiply the both sides, by x times y, then the left hand side is going to be natural log of x over x equals the right hand side is going to be natural log of y over y. The left hand side and the right hand side have the same form. What shall we do? We can construct a function. f of t. We can let f of t be the natural log of t over t. So that means for the left hand side, t is x. For the right hand side, t is y. Of course, t should be positive. If not, this equation won't hold. For researching this function, we can differentiate f of t. The derivative is going to be, the numerator is going to be the derivative of the natural log of t, which is equal to 1 over t, then times the denominator, minus the numerator, which is, equal to neg uh, which is equal to the natural log of t, and then times the derivative of the denominator is 1. Then, over denominator squared, t squared. So the derivative is equal to 1 minus the natural log of t over t squared. Let's research this term. t squared is always positive. Because t is positive, so t squared should be positive. That means if the derivative is positive or negative, it depends on the numerator. If the numerator is negative, this is negative. If the numerator is positive, this is going to be positive. So we have many cases. Look, if 1 minus the natural log of t is positive, then we can solve for the value of t. t should be between 0 and e. Now, the derivative is positive. The original function f of t is monotonically increasing. For a second case, if 1 minus the natural log of t is 0, in this case, t is equal to e. So here, the derivative is 0, and the function 
has its maximum value. Or third case, if 1 minus the natural log of t is smaller than 0, of course, then t is greater than e, that means the derivative is smaller than 0. Then, our original function f of t is going to be most likely decreasing. The graph looks like this. We have two kinds of solutions. The first kind, if x is equal to y, this equation holds, of course, it holds. Our second kind of solution is that if x is not equal to y, this equation can also hold. In this case, x is less than e, y is greater than e, or x is bigger than e, y is less than e. For example, x is here, and y is here. Of course, they have the same value. Because in this case, f of x is equal to f of y. So in our first case, we can say we have infinite solutions. In our second case, we also have infinite solutions. But, x and y, we can say they're on both sides of E. Can you maybe generalize all the solutions? If you could, share it with us. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.